My Travels, Neil Walker. Hello. Our journey continues in Kusadasi. The must-see is unforgettable Ephesus. However, having been here a number of times, we decided to visit Ladies Beach. Lovely greeting of welcome. It's about four kilometers each way with some hills. Nice views as we head off and looking back, we could see that the port was getting busy. We understand one of the most popular beaches in the area with a kilometer of sand. Nice to explore with restaurants along the front. After an interesting morning, we decided to head back to downtown Kusadasi. <laughs> downtown is always busy, with they say lots of bargain. A cool drink and the chance to people watch is always nice. Being a jazz fan, I love this statue. It's nice to wander around the mini stalls. And the shop owners, they're not aggressive. They're, in fact, they can be quite fun. Built between 1615, 1618, during the period of Ottoman rule. It's now a hotel. A fun day comes to an end as we sail for Greece. It's a little rough and windy as we arrive in Mykonos. <laughs> I fell in love with Mykonos in my twenties and always loved to come back. The weather improved as we walked into town. Great to walk the waterfront and the town's narrow alleyways with their wonderful predominance of white and blue, shops, churches, it's magnificent. the famous Mykonos windmills. Heading for the bus stop and my favourite beach. What could be nicer? A beautiful sandy beach, blue sea in a wonderful bay. A lovely day as this part of the island is protected from the wind and the rough seas. 
<laughs> this bar is a great spot as it's beside the bus stop into town. A nice glass of Greek wine is a great way to relax and enjoy the view. Time for a wander before we sail for Athens. Athens, Greece, for me just perfect. From the port we took a local bus into town, our first destination being the Acropolis. It's a lovely and interesting walk as you climb to the entrance to the Acropolis. seems to be a new discovery. Amazing, it's still in use today. We now head to the entrance of the Acropolis. Beautiful, one day, the restoration will bring it back to its former glory. You can see the original maidens in the museum. When young, I would walk up to the Acropolis on my own, just to sit and contemplate. It was so peaceful. Construction began in 447 BC. One can only imagine the sheer beauty of the building. One has great views over the city. It's quite a climb with the church at the top. Historical ancient agora.
a nice climb with great views of the Acropolis and Athens. We now leave the Acropolis and head for its museum. The rock has wonderful views over Angora and an interesting uh, story about its name. highlight of the museum was seeing the original statues of the maidens. When visiting Angora, one should not miss the first and second stories of the museum. Wonderful view of the Acropolis. The temple dates back to 449 BC. Fortunately undamaged, my mind's eye always pictures how beautiful the Parthenon must have been on a larger and grander scale. Dating back to 132 AD. <laughs> Busy Plaka, it's always a great place to eat. It's always a joy to walk through the old Plaga area. Athens Main Square, overlooked by the palace. A meeting hall. Time to leave Athens and journey to Istanbul. The skyline from the ship is magnificent. This is a great service into the centre. <laughs> the Egyptian obelisk has a long and very interesting history. <laughs> the Blue Mosque is a magnificent building.
Known as the Blue Mosque because of the blue tile. Built between 1609 and 1616. It has an amazing history. Formerly a Greek Orthodox Basilica, later an Imperial Mosque, now a museum. The building holds so many stories it is best viewed with a guide. A Roman underground water source covering 9,800 square metres with 336 marble columns. This is the largest of several hundred cisterns that lie below Istanbul. The use of these pillar bases is an intriguing mystery. One of the largest and covered markets in the world, with 61 covered streets and over 3,000 shops. It's a fascinating place. From the mosque, it's an interesting walk through the back streets with their many small shops. The market has wonderful spices and Turkish delight. The shops with the wonderful colours are a picture. After a wonderful time, our journey comes to an end. I hope you have enjoyed our travels in Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania and Greece. Neil.